welcome to episode one of Sagecast. At least we're keeping Sagecast. You so here? Nice. I like that. Uh, Sage Wolf. Prime. Prime time. <laughs> Prime time. <laughs> <laughs> For minus Sage Creed. I thought it was Dylan. It can be, but <laughs> not this time around. All right, all right, all right. So today we're going to talk about uh, Avengers Endgame theories. Endgame. Because we're watching it on Saturday. Saturday. No spoilers, guys. No spoilers. Of course, you can't be spoilers, but we <laughs> haven't watched it yet. But what? If, but we have to put a disclaimer. Because what if our theory is a spoiler? We don't. Mm, we don't mean enough. it. I. I can agree with that just for the fact that I've read the comics. Yeah. And even though I know that they, they stray off the comics, I still feel like mm. it can give... Like, you never know what the Russo brothers are going to come yeah, up with with, with the source material. So just now, you're like, oh, hey, like, you know, I saw this character. And then next yeah. thing you know, it happens. That person kills Thanos. And then, yeah. spoiler. Yeah. Thanos or Thanos? I, 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 I think, <laughs> well, seeing as we are mentioning um, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that theory out of that, the way. That, that's probably one of my favorite theories right now. The Thanos theory. <laughs> it makes no sense. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the meme... Quality of it is complete and utter gold. I saw another one. It's why does it ever grow really big? It's <laughs> so his own ass. What? 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 The other day I saw a meme about this where why does an ant man grow big and stick things up his own ass and then shrink down? What? What? I know it's so complete. What? <laughs> Nah, yeah. dude, nah, dude. yeah, but it's obviously, like reverse <laughs> thing. I think, I think the Thanos theory is um, is, is, is is quite self explanatory, bro. Like we don't have to go deep into mm. the deep into <laughs> the <laughs> fun, not deep the into the into the abyss. Um, yeah, with you know, good old Ant Man, you know, crawling up the the Purple Man. But <laughs> that'll be super <laughs> weird. Imagine, imagine the movie starts off like that, and it's like. This is the theory of Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually wouldn't put it past Marvel to do something like that. Maybe in the post credits or something. Thanos, oh Just as word. like a... Well, I mean... As like an Easter egg. Yeah. I mean, the one... Okay, look, the one theory that I feel like could work is... Um, so you don't remember in, in, in... What is it? In Avengers, where Doctor Strange... Before, like, after he saw, like, the 14 million different possibilities. Yeah. And then, like, he plucked out the time stone out of, basically... Like, out of a star. I'm not sure if you remember. To give it to to give it to Thanos. Uh. Remember he said, like, there was... And even Tony Stark's like, oh, there's no other way. This is the only way. But anyways... So, the one of the theories is that... Um, the time stone is actually still in the present moment. The time stone that Doctor Strange took out was one from the future. Oh, damn. Which, okay. Which is why when Thanos uses the gauntlet, it's all fucked. Because if the gauntlet is made to harness the power of all the stones, why would it crumble yeah. or be disintegrated? Like, it makes no sense. No, because, look, if we look at the comics itself, mm. it's been used multiple times, yeah. even in just... Um, in. Um, Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. He uses it as if it's nothing. Yeah. It doesn't fucking explode or spark. It yeah. just, he just you, like the gauntlet is made to withhold the power of the six stones. Exactly. As simple so, as that. So why would it then basically disintegrate or become yeah. damaged when he makes use of it? I wonder. That's if, actually really interesting. It, it, I've never thought yeah. of that mm. before. I've never actually even heard of that theory. Like I wonder if Disney. I, I thought Disney or Marvel. But to be fair. Doctor Strange, pretty much everything has to revolve around him because yeah. he, knew, he knew what was happening, yeah. what would happen. So. I, I thought Marvel was just nerfing the flippin' gauntlet. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we in the end game now. Yeah. I mean, no, but no, no one knew that. Game, game, yeah. No one knew so, that. I mean, because, I mean, yeah. it was the dwarves that made, or dwarves that made the, made, what is it? Made Milnir, made Mi Min Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker, like, and then also Odin's staff. So it's like, Weapons of kings, you know, so I mean, it only makes sense that if a gauntlet is made from them it, to harness the powers, then why would it be damaged? Yeah, that's good. It has to be pretty strong. Yeah, so. But that, that's actually, look, like, I think what we can discuss now, I'm just going to, we can, we can just like ramble on about what we think is going to happen, the theories yeah. that's on the internet. Um, and yeah, like, look. I, I, I almost do not want to go into stuff like this just for the fact that I want to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. But too too much has already been has been revealed. Know, revealed. And I know Marvel Marvel sometimes takes the piss when it comes to their trailers. They probably have a budget just for the trailers, you know, <laughs> to fool everyone else. Yeah. No lies. Like make to, a mini 
movie as a trailer. Literally, and then they say at the end, oh, guys, don't take it, you know, don't take it too, too hard. Too hard, yeah. What you see in the trailer might not even be in the movie itself. And there's so many trailers out now, and oh, God, I saw one of them, which and I told you about. Yeah, I stopped the trailer too. I think there are four trailers out yeah. at this moment. And you kind of confirmed, like, that's, that's what they used in the comic book. So it's like, I don't know now. I don't know. So just from, I haven't watched the trailer, but just from knowing the comic books, I'm not sure if it's the same. I don't want to watch the yeah. trailer, but I wanted to watch it, but I don't want to watch it. Well, if you want to watch trailer three, basically. So, yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to find I've which one. I've only watched the first two trailers. I don't want to yeah, spoil don't, don't too much more. Spoil. So this here is one of the most ridiculous in-game theories What's you it? could find on the internet by user Knight Errant on Reddit. And this is all about how the dusting Mm. or rather multiple dustings was not directly caused by the snap okay yeah because there's all the different scenes aka based on the post credit scene from infinity war the dusting happens way before thanos arrives on earth what okay like those dustings occur in that scene happens before the battle of wakanda had even begun according to this user on reddit so this is kind of like Hmm. So what is it actually saying? Like, Yo, so what is this? If the phenomena, it's saying that the dustings, the reason why they're not all simultaneous is because the gauntlet is, because the time zone's fucked with the gauntlets, mm. it's dusting at different times and uh, causing all sorts of... So so it, it's like dusting in the, in the past, present, and in the future. Yeah. Because I know, like, when the snap or... When that initial snap happens, everyone should have just disappeared at, at so that very at moment. At the same time, yeah. Yeah, and we obviously do see, Look, again, it can just be some cinematography where, you know, this guy goes and then that guy goes. It's just for, for, for cinema. Mm. But maybe it is. Like, they do go at different at different times. Oh, it's busy reading now. It's actually quite crazy. I mean, this theory is kind of really far out there. Can you stop moving and I want to read it? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Like, this is why go you up. Watch, go up, man. This is why you watch anime in dub, my dude. Yo. When you're scoring 300 million seconds, <laughs> how am I supposed to read it, bro? Like, it makes no sense. Pre anime in dub is lit, bro. It does seem most punk. I like bro. anime in dub. Anime now. Anime what? <laughs> dude, I can just all read it. Yeah, this. The first part of my theory. This is uh, okay, no, this guy's just talking cack. The dusting in Marvel Studios, punking. All of the MC oh, okay, so he's saying they're taking the piss. Yeah. Was not from the snap. This is obvious if you review okay from the Nick Fury post credit scene. Uh dustings happened all the way before Thanos even arrived on Earth. In fact, this dustings occurred in the scene happened before the Battle of Wakanda. Okay, and there's still a proof of that. Look at the timeline indicated in the dialogue below. It indicates that the scene took place right before the Wakanda attack. Uh, da, 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 da. I think this one, yeah. So we see this. Maria updates Nick with the latest intel. No trace of Tony. Then she gets an alert and suddenly says from Shields up that the Mad Titan's fleet of ships were only just then entering the atmosphere over Wakanda to start the attack on Wakanda. Larger ships, which we saw, and larger energy signatures from the readings of those ships. There was no second wave of ships, just the initial massive landing. To be really honest, I didn't really focus too much on what she said in that post credit scene. Mm. So if if that is exactly correct, then your then that okay. makes sense. The yeah, they, they didn't, they didn't make sense. The yeah. uh, so this guy is his answer to this entire theory is only if the phenomena we have labeled as a dusting started before the snap and were not simultaneous, oh. so that phenomena had to have been from something else occurring entirely. Whatever it was, the people did disappear. And evidently stay gone for quite some time. So there was actually sorry to add. So Marvel this, Studios has punked uh, us is what he's yeah. saying. But again, he doesn't. Obviously, we don't expect this guy to know why. Yeah. But if it's not even, but why would it not be? For well, the in, snap, in, though? but in in the TV spot which I watched on Instagram, it's it was Scarlett and uh, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, what's it? Black, Black Widow. Widow. I'd say she said, "Oh, Thanos used the gauntlet again." And I was like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. But now reading this, if it's like past, present, and future, then to them it would make it seem as if oh, he used it again. But also, if time travel's involved, that means there might be two versions of Thanos essentially running around and two versions of the Avengers running around. 
but I, running I, around simultaneously, which would explain certain. All all I can sure. say for starters, time travel just messes everything up. Yeah. Have you watched Stains Gate? Like no. time travel for me is actually a very lazy way of of getting things done. Like the moment time travel is introduced into a a like well let's put it a cinematic universe yeah then then it actually takes a lot of the 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 shock and trauma away because we know oh okay oh, Spider Man is dead but we know he can you know he can come back next movie yeah and same, and we all know that already thanks yeah. Disney for like revealing Spider Man and, too and Black Panther too like we really do know want Spider Man back though I yeah. mean but what I mean is like I I understand what Disney and Marvel are doing but they should have not revealed any of the the movies after Endgame until Endgame and now like I mean they, yeah they should no, have like, waited like I remember when I went to go watch Infinity War there were some people sitting in my row that were bawling their eyes out because Spider Man died mm. and I'm thinking to myself okay um, I can't I've obviously you know this is comics and people don't really die in yeah. comics um, but knowing that Flippin' Spider Man Two is coming out it took that that initial it, it, yeah. that oh, shit. Okay, I was like, uh-huh, okay. Yeah. I was more thinking, how's he gonna come back? Yeah, even now with like Tony Stark's, like, more Tony Stark, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s comments that the last eight minutes of the film is probably the best because everyone is involved. Yeah. Now, everyone could be everyone, like, from MCU in terms of bringing them back, or everyone from the originals. Yeah, the originals. Well, the X Men. Yeah, the X Men originals. <laughs> Dark so, Phoenix there in the corner. Oh, my chilling. Word. <laughs> There's <laughs> another. Theory, which he's written here about how they would use fake, almost fake stones, yeah, which would only have a limited effect. Yeah, that's what and I'm saying. Like, basically, be used up. But, but like, that like, see, Thanos, Thanos is not dumb though. Like, just yeah, from from if you read the again, if you look at source material, the, the guy's not he's, he's not an idiot. Do you remember how? And, he, and he's used the the stones as well. Yeah. One by one, like he used the but not stone. all of them at once. No, not not at once. But do you but remember his face them. when he did use all of them at once? The way he looked at the gauntlet. It's like, oh shit! Like, what is happening? Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, I mean, if Doctor Strange saw all the possibilities, maybe that was the only one where they could win. So maybe he did give a fake stone, a dud stone, a stone from the past, future. <sighs> Who knows? It'll be look. I'll be very surprised if it is something like that mm. because. Like, I didn't think Marvel can think that far, to be honest. <laughs> like, Marvel movies really have been a bit, like, mediocre when it comes to storytelling. But, I mean, it, I guess it's so all leading they, up to this moment. If they actually know. thought that far yeah. to, to get to a point where, oh, it was actually fake, and, you know, it, or it was something in a different yeah. dimension, was in the past, and I actually still have the time stone, but I gave you a different time mm. I'll be actually I'll be impressed. Yeah. Like, I didn't think they'd think that far. Do you yeah. gents have any other, like theories mm. who do you think okay like i think one of the big questions is who do you think is gonna die it like, has to be a big there, player like it's definitely has, someone someone's gonna die either tony stark or like Cap, um, do you think Cap, it's captain, captain america, america, america. Is most likely gonna die can I say like if we don't take their contracts into into regard like because contracts yeah. can always be renewed i do think marvel's like paving the way for like like new avengers yeah like captain marvel might be like the new tony yeah. stark so, you know, like, with all these, like, these lesser-known superheroes, mm. I think Phase 4 onwards is going to be more, yeah. more your, your B-grade so, heroes. I mean, your secondary in, heroes. Even in the, in the comics, I think when Tony Stark dies, doesn't Peter Parker take over the mantle of creating the technology and, and gadgets and everything that's used in the Avengers, like, uniforms and outfits and stuff, isn't it? I cannot confirm that. I haven't actually really... I remember seeing. I, I haven't dug most a uh, lot into Marvel like in the recent comics. Yeah, uh, like, I mean, ach, yeah, I, don't I know. mean, you never know. Like, it could be Captain Marvel, but I doubt it because she won't be on Earth. She's more of a, a like a cosmic being for the entire universe. All of these characters are mostly just on Earth. Yeah. So, like, so I think Spider Man does play the biggest. Yeah. Like, if you just look at what they've been doing in yeah. the Disney shows and stuff, like yeah. Spider Man, like. E e uh, yeah, like he, the, the the comical character yeah. that he is, even, he, he yeah. does have some sort of a leader. He, he, but even T'Challa's yeah. like sister as well. The yes, yeah. So, I mean that they could partner up and or maybe make Wakanda the the 
home base of Avengers or of something. Avengers. I mean, it'd probably be the best place to do it, but who knows? Yeah, because poor New York has been, yeah, sure. <laughs> been attacked more times than what I can count. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's the cost of state in, in, in the and MCU. Yeah, is, yes. if, you live in any, if you live in America in any sort of cinematic universe, you're fucked. Oh, shut like, up. really fucked because I think that's our food arriving. <laughs> America always gets invaded all the time. America. <laughs> Did you just say America gets invaded all the time? <laughs> <laughs> In cinematic movies, yeah. Yeah, America like, gets invaded all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think that that that's it's the bit, one place on earth you don't want to live. <laughs> that's a bit ironic, actually. It's actually funny. Yeah. I would like. That America like, gets, you know, gets invaded in everything, and, and, and in real world life, it's <laughs> real something life completely it's different. Like, boom! This is America. <laughs> it's America, <Hey>. freedom. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, do you gents think the Hulk is gonna is gonna make an appearance? The Hulk actually? has to return mm. back, guys. Did, uh, Seriously. Have you heard that one theory of who the of who the Hulk like is? But the Hulk is secretly Loki. Have you heard that's why I can't uh, tell you yes. the Hulk. Yes, yeah. I actually, if yo, if that is true. Well done. Like, so then basically Loki transported the Hulk fuck knows where and just took over Bruce Banner's body. Um, and so that's why he can't transform into the Hulk. Do keep in mind that Loki can make copies of himself. So you yeah. could have made a copy. You could have taken the form of, of Bruce but or, of and the Hulk. Hulk. Um, and then, yeah, like if that is your... Because your Loki is, he is one of my yeah. favorite characters. I can't believe it's this weekend yeah. though. Eh? Yo, oh, see, it's just, yo, the excitement the, the excitement is probably going to only start hitting me really when, when it's like Friday night yeah, the yeah, excitement is already see. here the issue is though now I've got so much fucking work to do <laughs> I won't be able to do nothing going Avengers 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 Before the fuck time. I've got a test I've got a test I've got to read all of yeah. this oh fuck <laughs> Do you, do you gents think, what do you think that, well, again, depending on how it ends, eh, the ending credits can be very, very, yeah. like, like, very important to the next phase. Well, they did say, I think I read yesterday, that Spider-Man, what's it, Far From Home, yeah. is actually the, the last, is the last, last movie. Home. They said the that, that they wouldn't announce any more plans after... But it looks like a separate standalone yeah. from everything, all the events that's going like, on. Like, it, it doesn't mention much about, you don't see, like, the Avengers really yeah. in the, it, it seems like, you know, the world is back to normal, and, yeah, yeah. Spidey's just doing his thing with Mysterio. And, but they, apparently there's a leaked photo going around of showing Marvel and then Fantastic Four. As like an image going around, uh, but yo, like if, yes, yeah. imagine they pop that at the end of the video. Yeah. Like so, if, imagine the movie ends, right? So they kill Thanos or fucking Thanos transports to this little farm planet, and then like any credits, <laughs> like the the fantastic car, like you know, drops. But they, they obviously don't know that. They're mm. by the Isn't Avengers it the headquarters. Quinjet? Yeah, what do you mean fantastic? How come the Quinjet exists in Avengers if the Fantastic Four don't? Um, you, number one, you guys don't know that the Fantastic Four does not exist. Mm. They are there. It's the it's Marvel. Everyone exists. They're, they're somewhere. They just Avengers don't know about them because apparently Google doesn't exist. Yeah. Ending credits. <laughs> this this jet stops like outside the Avengers Tower. You know they all come out riding out like what the hell? Mister Fantastic walks out. The Thing, Human Torch, Invisible Girl, looking hard as ever. You know walking mm. out. So late. <laughs> And it ends like right there. Yeah. <laughs> have you heard, have you heard the, the rumors who will play um, Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. Who? The, uh, John Krasinski. The guy from The Quiet Place? The Office? That war movie that he was in? <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's Google this man completely. He was John I, I, I suck with names, dude. Yes, I even forget your name sometimes, Dila. I know. <laughs> I was going to use another word there. Right? <laughs> so I think it's um, appropriate. PG-13. Or 18. <laughs> what? Or 18. Three dudes in a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, why, why, why do you get goosebumps there, bro? <laughs> ASMR, my dude. Rob, how is that tablet holding up with no hands? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a hat over here. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> but I think it's time for the Fantastic Four to get into the Marvel Universe because there's so much awesome stories and has the Fox uh, merger thingy gone through already? Yeah, it's done. Ah, cool. Awesome. Like, how much did it cost? Is it like what? Yes, like uh, 10, 10 million rand. No way. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah. Fox assets were only worth ten million dollars. Eh? It's, it's all actually like Disney. 
couldn't decide if they had to give them an old school check yeah. or if they wanted the money in like dollar bills or what. To be honest, I don't even want to Google the word Infinity War. Yeah, because you might just some news Infinity article. War, Thanos kills everyone. Like, uh, that wasn't what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, no, but... so... Well, technically, I see This is what happens. Dies and... Who does? Dies. <laughs> Dies. 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 John Snow. And, yeah. <laughs> Dude, By the way, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> John Snow dies. I honestly don't care about Game of Thrones at all. Okay, um, no, next topic. Um, anyways, um, what what was it talking about? Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, Fantastic Four. Hmm. Yeah, bro, like, they should really start, yeah. like, doc, what's it? Doctor Doom, yes. Yo, could you Dr. imagine? Doctor Doom. There's they, they, somewhere, what's it? Um, I forgot that, that Fantastic Four, vil- well, villain. What's it? The Impostor? Is it called the Impossible Man? Silver Surf, Silver Surf, oh, Silver Surf, uh, Silver Surf, Surf, Surf as well. Yeah, well, that means Galactus will have to come into the. MCU as long as he's not a a a, a flipping rain cloud with lightning, <laughs> I, I'm happy to have him look actually no live action, yeah, and proper. Because yeah, uh, like yeah, that would be quite cool. Actually. Like, uh, it does. Like Marvel definitely needs. I, I well I assume they have something up their sleeves like it's not. I don't think be, it'll be just all leading up for this for ten years. And, and then it's like in. No, there's like nothing like, like oh flip guys what are we actually doing next? Yeah, I, I'm they sure are. they have something. I was thinking about planned. that for like the past like, couple of months like what would like what if they were just like yeah that's it for now. Yo, like can you imagine like no super like no Marvel superior movies for like, for, like, for like two years. Yeah. Yeah. So Avengers um, Endgame this is happening this Saturday. Well, comes out on Friday. Yeah, well, well we're in, in Asia is coming out on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Eh, well, isn't that there Friday? <laughs> um, no, I think it's the 25th. It's, it's really ah. there, if not mistaken. Anyways, um, I'm just excited for it, gents. Yo, it's gonna be cool. Avengers Endgame. It's okay. probably not gonna sound like that. Eh? I hope, hope not. Guys, <laughs> yo, do you think Stan Lee? How do you think Stan Lee's going to make an appearance in this? Yo. Well, I don't know if they... I is know he going to have a cameo? Or is there going to be like maybe a little like passing, maybe Tombstone or something? Yo. Which says Stan because you know what they've, been, what they've been doing, eh? Like, since when Stan Lee got older, they just made um, like different scenarios of Stan Lee being in situations. Yeah. And they just plop him in there. So like on the bus or... No, so it'd be random. Random, like, yeah. Like everyday life situations. But maybe it could be... I think like Captain Marvel, like that was probably a very nice tribute. So having him in the Marvel logo in the very beginning. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was quite cool. And then after that, it was just... Uh... <laughs> 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 um, but yeah. Or, alternatively, you know, Marvel can take a, a page out of DC's book and Thanos wins and then that's it. Yeah. No. That's it. Dark, dark, dark movie. Dark a movie so dark you actually have to ask the cinema to turn the brightness up <laughs> because it's like just so dark yeah don't watch it in 3d because then it will be dark just <laughs> yeah like i i hope our cinemas here just do something about that like i can't are remember are having an intermission no we're not yeah. no, <laughs> no but what i mean is it's not like people are going on as if this is going to be the longest movie ever <laughs> yes you guys so just take a drink with you and then use the cup you know <laughs> jesus christ to throw away what are you talking about yeah bro, to drink you don't need to drink your coke cinema. out of the cup yes, yeah, oh, oh god wow. i had this my brain was in the gutter yeah, bro, that one. He's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right cool i think anyway. that covers all the theories wow, that yeah, from like in, yeah like a basic because i mean i don't want to google more theories <laughs> likewise like, i'd rather just be surprised well hopefully surprised yeah yes yeah. and we will have another episode next week about our reaction our and, reaction in star uh, wars so hopefully. yeah so if you've seen it then listen to it if you haven't don't listen to it yes watch it listen to it yeah. uh we're not too sure about the how we're gonna set it up yet but yeah you know if you have any theories yourself let us know that'll yep. be quite cool how Sage Cast appears in Avengers Endgame. Yeah, okay. Uh, if yeah. you can spot us, you get a cookie. In in Endgame, a cookie. <laughs> why would you? Why would someone want a cookie? Well, maybe in the Infinity Stone. I'm not too sure yet. If you have one of those. Cool yeah. guys. Um, thanks for listening. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't fall asleep halfway through the, <laughs> the uh, Sage Cast. Sage Cast. <laughs> and our first will... Sage Cast. Yeah. Yeah. Like. 
I, th- I think next next week one, we're yeah. gonna record like with video as well mm. because we can just you know and reactions yeah. and the whole all wear Thanos masks and things like that. No, of course, bro. <laughs> and then we'll catch you guys next week. Hashtag Team Thanos on Sagecast. <laughs> <Jesus laughs> <God. laughs>